Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery and welcome to What's Happening. So this is what I've been up to over the last couple weeks. I want to try getting these videos going a bit more, but unless I've got something to show, then, you know. So anyways, we've got a couple digitals and some projects that I've been working on. So this digital has been out for a little bit. This is William Morris tiles, and they are kind of a wallpaper um, that are made into tiles. I'm going to have a project coming up fairly soon using these tiles. They're very colorful, very beautiful. I love William Morris style stuff, and it is four pages. Now, you could use them any way you wanted but they typically go this way but they're square so it doesn't really matter so there is those love love the colors of these and then I just finished this one the other day and it's called the fairy cuteness embellishment there is 16 pages I want to say all involving these cute little fairies now you've got a seed packet style envelope a journal card a tea card and then some flowers in different colors and here is another one and again the cards should fit into there um let's hope they do i won't really know until i cut them out but they should. If I hold this one up, you can't see because I gotta hold it towards the light, but there should be lots of room for them to fit into the envelopes. Variety of colors, um, lots of fussy cut flowers because there's a bunch of flowers. You know, I want to fill in these empty spaces. I don't like to print off a page that has lots of empty space because then it just seems like a waste of a piece of paper. But just, I love these little fairies. This one here I think is my, the, my most favorite one. But there is like 10 different fairies. And each page is kind of the same, and I change the color of the flowers and stuff to hopefully go with the other pieces. Um, some of the pieces aren't like perfect matches of color or whatever, but close enough. So you end up with 10 pages like this. Then I use the fairies, and I added a couple other ones to give you 12 square embellishments and then you get eight postcard style journal cards love these then you get the 10 fairies in a cutout with some extra flowers again just filling in those spots and then I did eight bookmark style cards and these are really, really cute. Although you can't really tell that they're fairies. But they're just, they're so cute. I love the big eyes and stuff on them. So there is the digitals. Um, by the time you see this, they will be up. The William Morris tiles have been in the shop for a bit. Now these are goodies that I've been working on. Now I did these the other day. And it's just inking and some stamps and just some color. It's something I've wanted to try. I haven't really done a lot of stamping and whatnot. But they turned out really, really cute. I really like them. And there's going to be more. And hopefully you can see, like, the shimmer I used. Um, Wink of Stella. That's what I used on the tail and on the fairy wings and stuff but those are really cute so um yeah just 
these are kind of samples. These are the only two I've made, so I thought they were nice. So there's those. Now, I don't know if I've showed you all of these. I don't think I did. Um, one day I cut out a whole bunch of flowers. And I did spend some time gluing a bunch of them together. And I've still got to put the centers on them yet. But they're just lots and lots of flowers. There is lots of them. And I just used a whole bunch of scrap paper that I had laying around. Used my die cuts and cut a bunch of goodies out so I'm gonna have lots and lots of flowers there's some big daisy type ones there's some little daisy ones that's just some leftover pieces then there's more I've got a whole bunch of leaves I cut them out of blues and greens and whatnot some extra pieces and then some more so there'll be lots and lots of flowers in my future and then these were ones that I actually found I think I got them from the um the thrift store big couple big bags and they're paper but they're purchased and so I just dumped them all out onto the table and I just started matching them up with colors that I thought might go together like this one's got a couple die cuts in the middle with the purchased flowers from the thrift store. So there's a bunch of those in the basket. Then I made these tiny little postcards. Now these were made using stuff from your Creative Studio subscription box that they had sent me. And I just layered, there was a booklet of these little postcards and I thought they were so cute. And then I put some of the papers in the front. There was some stickers. I put on some cheesecloth. And one of the little stickers that they had put on a little piece of this jute, jute twine. On the back, I just did a little stencil thing. Um, there is a video coming out of these. So stay tuned for that, but they are just all cute. The backs are kind of the same. They're different postcards, but they've all got just a little bit of stenciling. But I kind of mass made about, I don't know, I think I did a dozen or 14 of them. But I really liked how they turned out. So I will leave a... Um, a link below to your creative studio but there is a tutorial video coming out on these so stay tuned for that like how those turned out then I also got busy and I did a whole bunch of folded paper ribbons now I had a whole bunch of ribbon or paper strips so I decided I'm gonna just get them used up now I ink this part and then I put on a piece of ribbon and then I've got beads on there so these are all hand stitched with the beads on there yes I am crazy so but I love how they turn out I always leave the threads long and I decide when I glue it into a journal what am I gonna am I gonna leave the threads love this color love 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 it so but just a wide variety of colors all the paper is um just a, a book page i think it came out of a map yeah it came out of a map book just edges that i cut off of projects that i was doing so lots of different colors some i put ribbon down on them this rib, this paper was from a book or a, 
shelf liner that I got at the thrift store a long time ago. And I had some strips from a project. So I used those in there too. So lots of different colors. Lots of purples because I had quite a few strips of this purple stuff. So yeah, lots of goodies. But I love with the lace or the ribbon down the center of it. And the beads just kind of take it to a different level. I have done some with a sequence under the bead as well. It's a lot more work, but it really pays off. So there is quite a few of these, but you can never have too many. And I was happy to get all the strips used up instead of putting them in my strip container. I have a container that I usually put strips for these folded paper ribbons. And it was getting pretty full. So I was glad I didn't have to add these. So all that I have to do with these is ink the edge. And I will do that before I put them in the container. Just because they will all need to be inked. So that's what I've been up to over the last week and a bit. Um, lots of hand stitching. But I do love the hand stitching. And I do it in the evenings. Usually while I'm watching YouTube. And it just, it's relaxing. So lots and lots of goodies. Now that I've showed you, I can start putting this stuff away where it belongs. I do really like these. It was quite the process to make them, but it was a fun process. And I had stuff everywhere. I had all my inks out, most of my stamps out. And just experimenting with it. Um, I got to use some things that I hadn't used. Some of these stamp sets I hadn't even used. Um, they could have been used when I got them because I think they were all used. And But I got to use my stamping platform thing that I have. Which I haven't used it for probably three years. So I was glad to dig that out and brush the dust off of it but I'm going to be making more of these um, like I say they were something new I want to try some things on the background a bit more I've got a fair number of Tim Holtz inks and oxide inks so that'll be fun and then of course at the digitals um, check out either Coffee Creative Fabrica or Etsy they will be all there. Um, yeah. And look forward to a project using these coming up probably within the next week or so. But lots of fun. And enjoy. And we will see you soon. Bye.